I still need to recover from another lover Would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother But let's see where this leads What should we do tonight? What if this breaks your little heart? I have hit my wall and now I'm sliding down the wall and onto the floor but actually mm. why is this side of my head so ugly but this side's okay mm, I don't get it practically almost winter where I live. Um, the grandma sweaters are back out. I'm completely distraught. Here's why, I'll show you why. I've been working on this intro for several hours. However, this was the original one. I have to do it all over again because something in this one is not like, it, it keeps making the app force shut. So I have to redo the whole thing and to make this layer like a layer instead of the actual video because if you see here like i made the screen the video i don't know why i did that and then everything else was just an overlay so now i have to redo the whole thing and i still don't even know if this one's gonna work with like the actual video as the video anyways my mistake and so whatever intro you saw in this video, just know that it took me approximately five hours to make. Reality. So sorry, YouTube. Oh, <laughs> something doesn't look right. Reality of content creating. I started that intro at one o'clock and it's now 528. And I just finished it and I hate it. I don't like it as much as the other one. I like it. Ronnie likes it. It has the seal of Veronica's approval gonna try That's to think chicken yeah i was gonna say i'm gonna try to think of something to eat but i don't know let's make chicken we'll make chicken fresh one from out back i didn't mean to turn off my personality 
I think it's because I was reading a script, but please bear with me while you watch the next segment. Obviously my day to day looks pretty average and it's because it is. Some content creators have cracked this mysterious code where they know how to get paid. <clears throat> I know a girl who makes about seven grand a month with 10,000 followers. But once you figure out that secret for yourself, it's not really one that you want to share, unfortunately. It, in my case, unfortunately. This is why, unlike a lot of other content creators, I don't get PR, I don't get paid, I have to still work a regular job, and you know, I Google search, I do a lot of searching online, but to no avail, the most I can do is buy somebody's rip-off $300 ebook, and no, I am not planning on doing that because I do not have that kind of money. But if you are serious about growing, these are the three tips that I'm going to give to you because I personally think that you can absolutely, absolutely flourish. I've been on Instagram since 2011 and it's taken me until this year to grow past 3,000 followers. This is tip one. You need to post niche content. If you do not have a specified niche, odds are People aren't gonna wanna follow you. Like if it's changing every other week, like if one week you're a painter and the next week you are traveling around the country in a van, odds are a lot of people who followed you because you were a painter are not going to care if you're van life. So if you're like me and your aesthetic changes every other day, I would recommend doing whatever one you are drawn to the most. So for me, that was cottage core. However, I currently am a little bit more on like the princess core, renaissance -y side. I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but the number one, you need to have a niche, period. Number two, this is where most people can't do it. And I understand that it takes a lot of time, blah, blah, blah. You need to post a photo and a reel every single day, every single day. You cannot miss a day because the moment you miss a day and you get off that beat, you're getting lost beneath thousands of other people and it is hard but even if you just have like one day a week not even like a full day you only really need like a couple hours and if you just have that then you can easily make one two maybe even three weeks worth of content that you can post because you can post several photos in the same outfit by the way if you're a fashion influencer three three timing a lot of people don't take this into account but you need to look at the demographic of where most of your followers are coming from. For example, if most of mine are coming from New York City, I'm gonna wanna post at 7.30 or eight o'clock in the morning because the truth is most people check their phone as soon as they wake up in the morning. I mean, that's really just the truth of it. And you wanna be the first thing that these people see because they're like, oh, that's great. Double tap, maybe they'll save you. Maybe they'll even comment, who knows? And you just, you need to be that first person. But say you live in New York and your a majority of your followers are from London, then you need to post at whatever time in New York, it's 8 a.m. in London. Do you know what I mean? I think that's six hours ahead or behind. I'll put it here, I don't know. You just wanna make sure that you're posting in the morning. That way you're always number one. These truthfully are the tips that I actually did and not some sort of person trying to like launch my ebook or whatever it like that's 100% what I did in order to go from 9,000 to 25,000 in the span of I think it was like a month and a half two months while I was like stuck at 9,000 for a solid year so I mean it's worth a shot to try honestly I don't mess with hashtags I don't mess with the little words that you put under a bunch of dots at the bottom of your caption like none of that has ever really worked for me but I also think that location tags are really important, but they don't usually work that well for me either, so I don't know. But yeah, that is how you grow 20,000 followers in a month. So I hope that helps. Catch you on the flip side, party people. That's all, folks.